Hi there, Paul Nambowski from Liberty Street Software. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to back up and restore using Asset Manage. Um, let's say, for example, you want to back up your database and restore it on another machine. Um, here's how you're going to do that. First of all, you go to the machine where you want to um, save the data for transfer to the second machine. And you're going to just select Backup File, Backup Database. And um, what you can do is you can back it up to your backup folder or an, another great, good way to do that is just back it up directly to, for example, a USB drive. So here I've got a, a USB drive, and so I'm going to back up the data directly to there. And what's doing is taking the asset managed database and all the any uh, images you may have attached to the to your inventory and it's packaging it up in a zip file. And so once we've done that, there's a new zip file and we can see it by selecting file manage backup files so let's go back to the lexar and you can see right here that's the file that we've backed up so now that we've done that we're going to take out we're going to take this uh, usb flash drive and transfer it to the other machine okay so i paused the video there to um simulate a, a transferring to a, a second machine so Okay, so now we're on the uh, second machine, and what we're going to do now is uh, 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 restore the data that we previously um, uh, backed up to the USB flash drive. So the way to do that is you're going to select File, Restore, and first thing it's going to do is back up your data just to be 100% sure because um, when you restore the data, it's going to overwrite what's there right now. So it's good. Uh, it's very uh, good idea to have a backup of this, uh, even though we have nothing here. It's um, still going to do it anyway. So I'm going to click yes, and now after it's done that, it's asking you where's the backup file that you uh, want to restore, and it's going to show all the zip files. So we had that. And we have that right here. You click OK. And here's all the data that was uh, um, previously on the second machine. Here's uh, here's the screenshot you would see, would have seen earlier. So, anyway, that's uh, that's how you're going to do that. And um, uh, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.